guys, to you here on Common Sense. 42 hours into a dryish fast as I'm recording the video. Dryish, as in I've only been drinking one glass of water with some salt in the morning, yesterday and today, followed by a couple of espressos. And now, took a swim in the ocean. You have no idea if you haven't done it, of course, but wow, it's so refreshing when you're fasting and especially when you're so dry to go into the salt water like this. Amazing. So today I want to talk about the saying, no pain, no gain. You know, it almost sounds like a joke because that, you know, you think of it when people say it, like when someone is sweating their ass off after a workout and complaining and whining and it's like, no pain, no gain. But it's actually 100% true. Pain is one of the greatest gifts the universe has blessed us with. It's just that we tend to think of it as a negative because it's a difficult sensation, right? And I'm talking about both emotional and physical pain. It's very different sensations, but they serve the same kind of purpose. So when we think about it, we are born with certain intrinsic characteristics, certain traits and instincts, right? Some things we just know to look for or avoid, kind of, as we're born. But, you know, kids, they learn from making mistakes and hurting themselves, pain. You know, kids, they run into, <laughs> run into stuff or fall or put them, the hand on the stove or whatever. They have to hurt themselves um, in order to learn many times. So the pain, there's nothing wrong with the pain, but the pain tells you something that is wrong. Do you understand? So take the example with the stove. You get told, ah, it hurts. But you really get told that, okay, it's not good to put the hand on the stove because, yeah, I get burnt. It's not good for me, right? And then you can learn that, in this case, you can learn that, okay, I should avoid putting my hand on the stove. But sometimes when we have pain that sticks, that lingers with us, then it can like tell us where we need to go looking in order to heal ourselves. So this can be both something emotional or something physical, you know? But the thing is here, the point I want to make is that a lot of people, because they think of pain as something negative, they think it's something that should be avoided. So, you know, a lot of people, if they hurt something in their body, they have some injury, they just avoid doing that. Oh, no, I can't with my knee. Oh, no, not with my shoulder. No, 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 no. You know, they're saying that. But really, what you shouldn't do is you shouldn't force. There's like a balance with pain. When you have like an injury in your body, yeah, you're not supposed to do anything that gives you like a sharp pain. That tells you that it's making it worse. But it's also, now this area is damaged. There, there is something that needs to heal in it, right? So you can't expect it to not hurt at all because it will only hurt, not hurt at all, when you're avoiding it somehow. Either by, you know, we're talking physical still, just not using this body part at all, so it slowly withers away, which is not good. Or that you use painkillers or whatever. So can you see how it can be the same thing with some kind of emotional pain? You know, you're sad, you're depressed, you're anxious, you're stressed, whatever, and you choose to lean into vices. You choose to go drinking. You choose to take drugs. You choose to numb yourself by just eating a bunch of junk food or just sitting playing video games for hours and hours on end. I'm not saying that any of these things can ever be done, you know, but when it's used to cover up something, you know, that, that, that's how you don't want to deal with pain. What you want to do with pain is lean into it again, not press it in a way that is just like, <laughs> what's the example? You know, let, let's take my hip, let's go back to the physical. You know, uh, my hip has been uh, da damaged, it's been injured for a while and I have pain in it. And so for a while I avoided, not training legs, but I kind of avoided what, what I know I need to do to heal it, you know, because I want to do things a certain way and so I sort of kind of force it. In my case, it is, <laughs> the, 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 I guess there's a balance I realize when I'm talking. In my case it was that I kept doing some things that hurt a bit more than they should, so I made it a bit worse until I was like, okay, I have to take a step back and work with my hips in a certain way that's more boring for me and it will still not be very comfortable i've been very unstable so i don't like it you know but this is what i have to do to gradually heal this pain i can't be pushing it like crazy but i can't run away from it either you understand 
And this is really what I learned from the panic attacks, that where it all started, you know. I had to lean into the pain. I have been running from my pain, uh, it, different pains in life, you know, by resorting to vices, drinking off, always looking for these escapes, you know. But when the panic attacks hit, then I understood. I understood finally that, okay, I wasn't just meant to be like this. Like, my fault or not, doesn't matter. Um, something that I have done has led to this. I was not, this was not supposed, just predestined to happen. So I had to now start leaning into the pain. Like, one pain I had, one fear was, you know, I, I um, had a fear of being seen. I had stage fright, you know. And the panic attack sort of made any situation like a stage situation. And I couldn't run from it. I had been running from it so much before. I had even been drinking before certain things like that, but it had not healed it. And now I had to lean into it, like, because now any social situation felt like a performance. And I just, again, I couldn't, I couldn't just face it. Like, you know, like I said, just smash smash through heavy squats with my hip injury. I couldn't just go out and do just anything, but I had to lean into it. I had to go and feel like I'm making a fool out of myself. People will think I'm an idiot, I'm crazy, I'm a loser that I've been acting like this. But I had to lean into the pain because the pain showed me where I had yet to become stronger and heal. And I had to find out that, oh shit, it wasn't so bad, you know. Uh, uh, like people don't abandon me like I thought. And I started healing that. And I got rid of my stage fright after all of this. But another thing, when I had made like plans with someone I hate, I absolutely hate going against my word and feeling like I'm letting people down, you know. Uh, but I remember I had to with people, I had to, like I had to, um, at one trip with my choir that I had said yes to, I had to say, I'm sorry that I'm saying it so late, but I can't, I can't go on this, you know. I had to learn that too. Oh, it's not, you know, no, not everyone, depends on me always. I, it's okay that I look after myself a bit. That was something I had to heal. So you understand, you have to lean into the pain. And then you had this point with pain too, that I, I've been big on self-inflicted adversity. Pain does make, uh, make us stronger. Like I said, the universe, the gift the universe has given us with pain is telling us where we need to look, what we need to face to become stronger and improve. So that's again with like healing an injury. We often talk about when, when we take physical injuries that you have to expose yourself to um, on a pain scale like one to ten. You're probably going to have to feel something that's like a three, you know, with certain exercises that might help. So you feel a bit of pain and discomfort, but you're not pushing it over the limit so you actually make something worse. And then you gradually build that area stronger. It's the same with everything else in life. And that's why we can have this like really truly just good pain of like training hard, pushing our muscles to the limit so that they get stronger. And, uh, do, you know, cold showers, saunas, fasting even, we push ourselves through discomfort on a, a, at a level we can tolerate, but just a bit over our current threshold so that we get stronger. And so I come, I, I'm talking about this subject today because I've personally had uh, to face some pain within me that I realize I've been running for, from for a bit. It doesn't really matter what it is, but I'm not talking just about my hip. I'm talking a bit on the inside too. There's been, I've had to rediscover aspects of myself that I thought I had healed and was over. And I tried to run from the pain, not as in, you know, because that's another thing with pain. Some things, sometimes we're just in denial. You know, we're, we're not even using vices and stuff, because that I, I'm, I'm a, I've come to a point where I don't just don't resort to vices like alcohol or whatever to numb my pain. But we can be in denial. We punish ourselves because something, yeah, I don't know, holding on to a certain story or uh, this things must be a certain way or blah, blah, blah. Sometimes that's the escape, you know. But I did this fast because leaning into the pain, I didn't want to distract myself. I wanted to lie. I know, I know. I sort of lost myself a little bit, you know. So you had to run straight towards the pain, lean right into it. So I went on this fast and yeah, it's been amazing to be honest. Like I've, I had this night, I had a very painful moment that I just, it just hit me some things about myself 
that I've been running from. But at the same time, it was very relieving because now I wasn't all in this pain. You know, I was like seeing it from the outside and be like, ah, this is where I have yet to heal. I didn't think so, but now I'm accepting it. I'm not running from it. And I'm, I'm happy now. I'm happy I, because I leaned into it. I'm already stronger. I already realized some things. And I see the future is just like, wow, it's going to get so much better. Like I, I'm getting stronger from this. So guys, no pain, no gain. Run straight for, towards it, lean into the pain. That's the way to grow. The people that avoid the pain, those are the people that get stuck. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it if you don't face it. So please leave a comment, what do you think? Please like, all comments and likes help support the channel, so I appreciate it a lot. If you're interested in my coaching on the training, nutrition, fasting, mindset, anti-fragility, becoming a beast, please go to my website and apply via the form there or DM me on Instagram, that's usually the smoothest. And uh, yeah, please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, and weight, building muscles, up improvement, stoicism, and mental health, mindset, philosophy, a mindset. It's a mindset, guys. No pain, no gain. Peace.